So this is the antenna I'm going to build. It's very simple. It uses 60 inches of wire. I'm using 4 gauge copper grounding wire because it's nice and thick. And these are the dimensions. Bottom leg's 15, middle's 8, top 6, and there's a 1 inch section in the middle. Now this 1 inch section, I'm going to hammer it flat so I can attach it to the mast and put two bolts into it so it doesn't wiggle back and forth. The ball and connects down here. Could be on that second bolt, maybe. I just wanted to say thank you, OTA Canuck, for all the great work. This is five foot, actually six foot of four gauge copper ground wire. I'm using the thick stuff because I don't want birds sitting on it and bending it. I'm going to mark this out and start bending it. Uh, the center of the antenna up the top is 30 inches. So that would be right here. So it bends a little bit before, or a little bit after, the place where you hold it. So if I bend it here, so there is where the top will be. And I'll play with it and straighten it up as I go. Slowly getting there. Now I'm going to hammer these two flat areas out so I can get a place to attach some screws. I just smashed them against something solid like I had a big piece of metal outside so I set them against that and I hammered them. If I did it again I'd definitely flatten them out before I put all the bends in it or at least try to. I have the wire in the clamp and I'm going to drill two holes, one at the top and one at the bottom. I'm starting the screws because I don't want to fight with it while I'm trying to put it on there. This is the three-quarter inch rigid PVC. It'll shove down in that pipe fairly tight. I'll have to sand part of it that I shoved down in there just a little bit. I cut a couple spacers and these will be the shims on both sides of the PVC pipe. I'm going to clamp these two shims in here and we're going to drill a hole out towards the end on both of them. And then I'll drill a hole in the pipe to match and put my bolts through it. Now I'm going to drill this one through. And now I'm going to attach this to here and finish straightening it out. Well, it's all together now. These are bent forward a little bit. About 10 degrees, I think it was. It might have been 15. I'm going to try it here. And here's the ball, in, and it will connect to these two points right here on this, these two screws. This piece of one inch metal electrical conduit is going to be my antenna mast. I'm sure there's better options, but this is fairly cheap and it'll do what I need. Here's the 10 foot mast with the antenna on it. Notice it, how hard it is to even see the antenna. I painted the ball in and I gotta clean some of the paint off the copper here, but oh no, it should work fairly good. I'm gonna use this to make the mounts to go on the side of the house and hold the antenna mast. The bracket will go like this and then on each side there will be an angle to give it strength. This is the almost completed bracket. It's all screwed together now. We'll mount on the house like this. Might take a file to it, clean it out. I cut this block to fit right in here like this, and I'll screw it in, and I will drill a hole right here to match the hole from the other one. This is the bottom, and it will sit down inside of here. I'm going to use these eye bolts as a big thumb screw. Drill a hole in there so that I can tighten these down. This is the mast mount for the side of the house. It seems like it would be plenty for a much larger pole. Oh, well, there it is. 
I can hook it up in the house and point it. So if I use a compass or a compass app and I print out this thing that tells me where my channels are from TV full, I can use that to point my antenna and get the maximum number of stations.